morning and happy Easter to you all. Um, that list, the alleged looters list, started out on uh, Sunday, I believe, Saturday, Sunday. Anyhow, now we have, we started off, we got a release of six names, followed by yesterday, a release of another 23 names. So we're looking at 23 people, but the Minister of Information has said that um, that was just the tip of the iceberg. Now, the alleged looters list that I'm talking about is based on um, EFCC investigations, according to the Minister of Information, uh, talking about, what, 126 billion naira, uh, 1.5 billion dollars, and uh, 5.5 pa uh, billion pounds sterling all and allegedly embezzled through Sambo Dasuki's uh, office. He was the uh, NSA in the Jonathan regime, as you recall. And all of this is apart from the ongoing $2.1 billion arms scandal uh, that is also being investigated. You know, highbrow names were mentioned in there. There's been a lot of conversation. Some of them have spoken for themselves. Some of them are saying that, you know, I've already pleaded not guilty to the charge. Uh, some of them you've actually, Andy notice stated it. Uh, but the, the way the whole thing has sort of come to us, there was initial criticism that this list of six was, you know, just wasn't a list. Uh, to which the Minister of Information has replied that um, a few people weren't listening. At the press conference, I did say it was uh, the tip of the iceberg. So it was a teaser. Okay, my guest, uh, Yemi Makpadirun, Mr. Makpadirun, Mr. Makpadirun is um, a strategy and governance expert. Uh, happy Easter, Yemi, and thanks for coming. Happy Easter. Good morning, viewers. Indeed. And then Honorable Ikwala Omishore, former member of the Lagos State House of Assembly and a political affairs analyst. Thank you very much, Honorable, for coming on as well. Thanks a lot. Indeed. Happy Easter to you. Indeed. Uh, let me start off with you. Um, what are we to make of this list? As I said, these are things that were... Uh, known or perhaps guessed, you know, as we tend to do in Nigeria. There are no secrets. We know what's going on. We might not be able to prove anything. Uh, but when the, an official source like the federal government now says, this is the list, this is a partial list at least, um, what, what, what do we make of all of this? Well, I think uh, the apology from the national chairman of the PDP probably trigger of the idea of you know bringing that list why it's coming in peace bill no one knows the minister of information must well, be so he said it was a strategy he said after the he, event he that, that's know, a strategy and no, you know, he's here no, to comment on the strategy later on the minister must know his strategy and uh, but to nigerians you know we all know you know fraudulent practices happened years back three mm. years ago mm. Mm. and uh, bringing it out in peace mill is uh, it's not funny at all uh, what nigerians actually wanted is judgment they want to see the money recovered. They want to see the court in action. They want to see the government really showing that they are serious in chasing this debt. Is it, not, not debt, this, you know, stolen yes, uh, yes. Uh, wealth. Uh, some, 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 some is being recovered. And then uh, all this recovery are just a tip of the iceberg. And when you have a weak uh, law, you cannot prosecute to get the money. I think the, the government is fighting in the public. They should be fighting in the courts. They should be fighting using the power of the law, which they are not able to achieve at the National Assembly because they know the people they put there to hear the National Assembly and the Senate. So they are, they are only exposing their weakness of not being able to do what they should do to fight for the public mm -hmm. and get public funds ref ref uh, refunded mm -hmm. or recovered. Okay. Okay. It's a sign of weakness. Okay, we'll come back to that. Um, uh, Yemi, what, what do you make of it, especially this time? Uh, and then the speculation by Honorable Mishiri that uh, perhaps he, they were provoked uh, because of the challenge and um, because, well, inter alia Lai Mohammed did say, well, what, what, what was the former you know, chair of PDP thinking when he challenged us to name names? Did he, did he think we weren't serious? Um, just look at the whole way, manner, and commentary on what has been presented? Well, I, I think my duty here today will just be to look at um, the, the strategy behind <laughs> the actions you know, and activities that duty. we are seeing. Duty. And, and yeah, I, me, we, 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 we invited you here for the <laughs> usual lovely conversation we tend to have. Now you've turned the whole thing into duty. Well, it is a duty, really, you know, that I owe, you know, Nigerians oh, okay. to make 
us understand perhaps why things are going this way. We've had a cacophony of, you know, sounds, those saying, well, the release of list of alleged looters is in order, mm -hmm. but there is even this louder noise, which is not just coming from the opposition, but even from civil society, that, well, this is not what we were expecting. But I am one of those who always believe that people in government, especially politicians, they are smarter than we think, and there is an agenda that is behind all of this. And I think it is all targeted at 2019, 2019, you know, general elections. Now, PDP is saying we are... We are right there, sir. Yes. Right there, sir. I'm sorry for interrupting you. Um, I don't know, it would be a shame if, as you're analyzing it, because there's an ongoing war against corruption that was sworn to even before they assumed power. And so if this had been presented in the light of uh, that pledge to rid the entire society of, of, um, of, of corruption. Uh, I think, um, I remember, was it the president? Yeah, it was the president at the Bola Ahmed, uh, Bola Tinumbu uh, say we have to replace corruption with correctness. Uh, if it was in that line, but it seems, um, you, you point out if you got the same impression, that there was a whole party affair to the whole thing where it wasn't about criminality anymore, it was about membership of a different party and look how bad they were and all of that. As opposed to, these are criminals, we don't, know, we don't care where they come from. The ones that coincidentally come from PDP, let us say so. Well, you just succeeded in putting some, laying some blocks on the foundation that I just, you know, uh, erected. Because if you listen to the vice president, Adibola Tinubu Kolokom, and even the Ashwajo himself, you will see that there is actually a deliberate effort, an attempt to refresh Nigerians that this party that is rebranding, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you see, cannot, is beyond redemption. And they are responsible for what, you know, we are experiencing now in the, in the economy. But again, like you said in your opening remarks, this is not something that is new to us. It's not anything new. But I imagine that there is a long list somewhere of suspected looters or alleged looters, particularly those to whom transfers of funds mm. can be traced. Because mm. again, you must also see a deliberate attempt by the Honorable Minister of Information at not making it look like just a random, you know, mentioning of names. He tried to link each and every one of them to a particular transaction with a date attached to it. Now, so the question now is not whether those monies were traced to those people, but what was the purpose for which those monies were paid into their various accounts? Indeed. That is the issue. And in, and in one case, Fanny Kaode, for example, he said, yeah, I did receive 800, um, uh, is it 800 million naira, uh, but that wasn't public funds. Uh-oh. So you see, there are all sorts of Exactly. I mean, that wasn't public funds. That was private. That was private. Eight hundred million. Yeah, there are a lot, of course because of you could see that even the response of the of the opposition is not an attempt to defend mm -hmm. themselves, mm -hmm. but to say, hey, you pot or Ketu, you are calling pot black. black. Reveal the source of your campaign funds. Because we are aware that some of your governors at that time actually brought out money to fund the election of the, of the APC at that time. So the issue now is not about where we are not saying we are clean, but you are as dirty as we are. So the matter is being diffused. It, the matter is being the, diffused. You, know. you see, ordinarily, ordinarily, if you're having a holistic anti-corruption fight, like if this list had come out, say, three months into the life of this administration. These are the alleged, it will first and foremost convey some seriousness, but coming almost three years mm -hmm. after, mm -hmm. and this is not a list of convicted uh, uh, suspects. It is actually a list of those, some of them have not even been, have not been tried. For instance, I'm not aware that the PDB chairman is but undergoing any trial. Indeed, yes, he, had, he, had, he has you know, a subsisting uh, judgment against the, the federal government. Yes. And it was awarded, you know, an amount, mm -hmm. which I, I think that case is, has gone on appeal. Mm. So 
So, and they're making him the number one on that list. Not because he took the largest chunk. Mm -hmm. It's as if he took the largest chunk. Make him number one on that list. Also, diffuses, you know. So, was this the presented in the best possible way? Uh, is probably one of the questions that might be niggling at your mind. But, you know, there must be so many ways to skin a cat. Uh, Benga in Abuja, good morning. Good morning, Mr. Yori. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling and in. Scott and, and it is Scott and there. Good morning mm -hmm. to you all. Good sure. morning. Uh, I wanted to know, Mr. Yori, that the release of the list, the two lists are in order, and they are still counting, meaning that it's not yet exhausted. You, if you could remember, Serap went to court and obtained a judgment from a court of competent jurisdiction that government should publish the name of the Luther or those who have stolen our, our commonwealth. This is a kind of, you know, answer or mm. complying with that rule. They look at it. PDB came up that we should forgive them that they made a mistake. That word mistake is a slap on our face. It's an insult to our intelligence. Can you loot the country with this magnitude? I don't say uh, we, we, we made a mistake, come on, just forgive us. Without returning the money, the fruit of it is the suspicion. You can't steal my car, be riding it. And wait to him and say, sorry, my friend, I don't worry, the music, I stole your car. It's never done. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. I mean, Nigeria was saying, they, 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 they said they have made mistakes, and let's forgive them. We can't make the magnitude. The, the release of this list, I showed to Nigeria that, look, the suffering of today, the, 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 what I'm going through today, is a result of the looted treasure. Okay. And how can this magnitude of, of, of money go out of our, 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 our treasury? I will not suffer it. If an individual is telling Hannah, any 10,000, I mean, where are they in a month? Loses 50,000. There's no way his family will not know. But people are saying that Buhari was the cause of the current suffering. This is show that, look, this current suffering was the looting that happened in the past. And it's in order. We accepted the work. We are waiting for them to return this loot and now make a, a, as a sense of restitution. We cannot forgive them. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you very much uh, for calling in. So, well, uh, as uh, Wenga, you know, sort of has, has indicated in the, uh, I wonder if, in his understanding, because of what he said, this is like a response. You see, a, a, a response to the political matter, the apology of PDP preparing itself for the next election. And so this is like spiking that because it was said that, that apology is fake, it's false. Look at how they're responding. It shows a lack of, insincer uh, a lack of sincerity. Uh, but all of this is being tied to party politics. It's, a, uh, it's very unlike uh, the progressives uh, being reactive. Uh, I don't enjoy reacting, and you are now publishing the list. Where were you? Those lists were already due for being publicized long ago. Mm. And I reckon we should not forget the cause of these problems. Self-inflicted wounds on the nation by the president. You see, when he was coming in, he had a very strong notion that he would probe, he would recover lost funds. Mm -hmm. But he made a fundamental error. He forgot that you need a legislature that will give you a backing. He, he needed a law, not the, the normal laws we have in our courts today. That case will go on until 2033 <laughs> with our current laws. Buhari should have ensured that nobody that participated in the last regime yes. headed our legislature. You put Saraki at the, as, at the Senate, you put Dogara at the House of Rep, and you want a law that will catch a thief. Who will pass that law? Okay, one moment, please. Uh, Josephine in Aja. Good morning, ma'am. Okay, oh, good morning, and your guest. Thank you for good calling morning. in. Good morning. Happy Easter. Indeed, same to you. Yes. So what do you make of this? Yes. Yes. Uh, you see, that is why we are having problems with this administration. First of all, Buhari told us that he want to, he want to bring sense. When, when he gained his when he get, when he gain, uh, when he win the selection, he told us he's waiting for six months to, to, to bring sense to us. What did we get at last? Incompetent people. Now they are bringing lists. They have been waiting for naming people. Is this the same list which we know? Media trial that will continue. Both of them, both APC and PDP, are culpable. If 
we want to say about corruption, both PDP, both APC, in different states they have been ruling. In different states, you cannot you cannot tag only one person corrupt. Both of them they have been ruling us in different capacity. So they should come out in clear. Anybody that go to APC becoming sent. Okay. Can you imagine Timmy Perasiva was alleged corrupt, but they return all these things. Okay. They, should, they should tell Nigeria what we want to know. We know all these things. Both of them, they are culpable. Both APC and PDP, we know them. All right. They should not come and be telling people as if they are sent. Both of them, let them tell us how they fund their campaign. Why mm. told us you don't have money? But if somebody fund him, APC has been uh, ruled by, uh, uh, Lagos State has been ruling by APC for 16 years. Who is shaking them? Okay. We are seeing so many, many things. People are not staying away. We, we don't want, we don't need all these things. We need fresh people. Fresh people, they should... You okay, should Madam Josephine. Look Jones at Man. our case. Yo. What have they done? Look at my case. So many things they have done. Now the loot, they are looting the loot. Because no check and balance in the ERCC. Okay. Oh, 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 you don't know that. You don't know that, Madam Josephine. But, but thank you very much for calling in. Um, <laughs> you see, you see <laughs> Madam, Madam Josephine's uh, you know, intervention mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. just summarizes the perception. Mm -hmm. That is just a perception that is as far from the truth as perhaps... You know, night is from there. I don't know <laughs> because I didn't want to say you know, earth, you know, the world, the earth, and, and and the heavens. Now, the fact of the matter is, the question to ask by the by this current administration is, this release of list of alleged looters, does it have the capacity to make PDP look worse than yes. they already look? And my answer is no. The publication of this list actually is dragging APC down to the level of PDP. And that is why the, 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 the most reasonable, in quote, defense I have had is not that these guys didn't take this money, but that the other people in APC also took as much as they took. But because they are in power, they are protecting yeah. their own. So, the government should know that the focus should not be to make PDP look bad. PDP already looks bad enough. Okay, okay, so exactly. The, the, all the efforts should now be geared at making APC to appear as the party that has come to rescue Nigeria and change you know, the, the trajectory of, of, of our journey. Now, there are so many things that could have been done in this anti-corruption fight. I've been issue. The issue of special court was never pursued with the kind of vigor I expected it to be pursued. The, the recovery, and then Benga, let me quickly, you know, even re, you know, respond to what Benga said. He oh, okay, said the, uh, Jumbo, he, I'll be right with you. He, One moment. He said the response of the publish, publication of that list is a response to PDP's, okay. Okay, okay Jumbo, uh, go ahead, please. He, he is. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning, Mr. Yemi. Good, good morning, morning, sir. I want to wish everybody a happy Easter. Indeed, we wish you the same. Yes, I want to. I want to support the last speaker, the lady that spoke last. See, I actually am a member of APC, and I actually supported this government because of um, what we have been experiencing in this country. But for now, I will. Not, I will tell you that what I'm expecting, I'm not seeing it. It's not forthcoming. Unlike what um, the Lagos State man and um, the elderly man they have said about this thing, will take us to 2039. But I'm, I don't, I don't think so. Let us all also work together for we to move this country ahead. I, I can foresee that the problem we are having is those the uh, political elites, those big men, or gas at the top. They keep recycling themselves. Like um, uh, Mr. President Mohandi Buhari, at the point after his election, he said, I belong to nobody. I belong to everybody. I belong to nobody. That statement, I look at it. If you look at it, at the point, begin to see that the man in which you are our president will do something. Mm. But at this point in time, I look at it, the, most of the appointments, look at the, most of his appointments and other things. 
the, the so called corrupt people are still there trying to kill the government. When, even when the government is trying to work, these, those people there now, elect those people that they appointed, those people that we are elected, that they are still in the system, from the Senate, from the, the upper house. Yeah. When they try to do something, they will, they will, they will try to rubbish it. They will try to own everything. They will try to, they, they are predominant. They, they are just dominate everything, police everywhere. I don't, I, look at what you said now. When they catch any corrupt person, they have all the transactions that they have made. But when you go, there is no place, even in the, in, in the court, there is no place they will say that this law, this law, this law, this is how they can rope you. You won't achieve anything if they will not make an amendment. All, all right, then. Thank, thank you very much for calling in. Re really appreciate your call. Um, you, you know, part of the problem perhaps might also be, because as you said, Madam Josephine virtually summarizes what many people are thinking. What indeed is our attitude to corruption in this society? Is it something that is universally frowned upon or is, is it a much more complex relation uh, relationship between us and corruption. Uh, because you see, if you, it's like too many people, for my liking, uh, refuse to see corruption in a black or white scenario. They will point out that there's a heck of a wide band of gray in between. So you, it's not as simple as saying this man is a thief, this man is guilty, you found 800 million on him, he has returned 650. Uh, people still say, um, let, let's be careful how we phrase these matters. Uh, so so uh, that is what led to the question of what is the society's attitude to, 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 to this corruption. In other words, does government really have the entirety of the people behind it? If those Absolutely. who voted for President yeah. Buhari and APC into power, if you were to do a census of them, do they all uniformly have, uh, feel that take corruption out whatever it costs? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. And part, I think the, the, the dealership has also a responsibility you know, to make that to happen. Our perception of corruption in Nigeria goes deeper than uh, the grand corruption that we are seeing. Mm -hmm. And indeed, even in this area of grand corruption, whether you will accept that Mr. A, you know, is corrupt or not, mm -hmm. will depend on whether you are benefiting <laughs> from those proceeds of corruption. There you go. And I have said it many times. And these people have made sure the thing has gone around quite widely. Let me tell you, people have said it in private. They may not be bold enough to come to the public. They have said that during the days of PDP, we knew they stole, but the money went but, round. And I told them, if the stealing continued, would there be anything more to steal at some point in time? And then nothing goes round. So, <laughs> but the government has not succeeded in, in having us have a paradigm shift, you know, okay. without thinking That national Nigeria. orientation agency it's that was touted, non-existent. That was touted, that, that, that was going to work around. But please, be, be, uh, hold, hold uh, go that to that area. area. Let me bring in Okora for Inaro Chuku, who is waiting, and then I'll come straight back to you. Mazi Okora for good morning. Good morning, Sayori. Good morning, our guests in the studio. Happy Easter to everybody in the studio. Honestly speaking, Sayori, when we talk about Lute Fund, Lute Fund, this fund, what were they made for? It is not a question of we will have this or people public, they did this, they did that, the fund. This, the Lute Fund, what we want is our, like, how do you put our off here? The road is there, nothing has been done. It got a great server, the same thing. How do we bring back the fund so that these things will be done? In our saga, in our, there's no water, but people have collected the money. Where is the water? People are suffering. It is not a question of looting funds. Uh, okay, to make the list complete, government should publish the jobs made for the funds. Because, like what Madam Rizzo said, what will I The funds, they say, okay, these people collected money, they use the money. Where is the money now? People are suffering. The money, the job was, the, job, the money was made for a particular project. Can't those people go back and complete the jobs? It is not a question of we have seen this. Yes, I agree. They stole this money. Everybody, personally, at least people know that Nigeria, we have this type of fat, fat money with the people's pocket. Without, even the, the publication, you know, I don't even know, I was thinking maybe it's just, just I agree that this happened. But the question is, how will the masses benefit from this money which it was, they, they have been looted? Okay. Because if the money did not go back to where it's supposed to go, the project now, people will not enjoy it because we want the money to go back to where the money is supposed to be, right? Mm -hmm. now, because our investors, when it's they don't have one cent. Mm -hmm. And investors, so 
was a trade and lead. And the money was meant for the university authorities to do good things for people. And it's not let us continue selling books and uh, selling so called uh, 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 their, 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 their books, their thoughts, copying from another person and find and start to do these things to into the system so that people will start copying. How many people uh, uh, kill coach or rap in their house during Easter? Or who bought you? How many people were going to buy you to? Is that supposed to be recording like Nigeria for you? That's what happened. Indeed, thank you uh, very much. Um, uh, interesting conversation, and I, I guess the phone is hardly going to stop going. Remember that President Buhari wanted to name names early, if you remember. Uh, but again, his whole lawyer team lawyered up and said, Ah, oh, God, we have to be very, very careful. There are legal provisions. Uh, we, we, we. So. It couldn't be done. That is after the president had said he had the, the verve and the gusto and was ready to, to do it according to his utterances. But then, as often happens, perhaps, his handlers explained, uh, uh, Mr. President, it's not as simple as that. Long story short, we didn't get that list. Now we're getting it at a, at, at a time that, that seems to be for an ulterior motive. Uh, that is the whole political uh, party coming up uh, later on. Um, but the issue is really, what is the attitude? Are these men shamed forever that have been named, for instance? Is society about to ostracize them? I, I, I don't think so. Uh, people that have been convicted abroad and have been in jail have come back to a hero's welcome in this society. So that National Orientation Agency, what are we to make of this list? Because they're thumbing their nose. They're th thumbing their noses. You see, I think uh, you know, what, what has been wrong has been that professionals are not being used. You look at this government, you hardly find any technocrat in that government. Give it to Obasan during his time, you put the right technocrat at the right places. Uh, there's difference between publicity and public relations. What they are doing now is bad PR. You are, you, oh, that, you, that's not their intention. <laughs> no, you know, that's the, 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 the end uh, result. Uh, oh the end result uh, is negative. You see, okay, you think? Yeah, I mean, okay, we are hearing. They say we know they are thieves. You know, why yeah. now? Uh, and that's a problem. No, uh, that's, uh, and, and that's a big, big problem. And, and that's the wrong thing. It's a big ethical it's problem the for the society. That is, you know, expected. Yes. Because the society know they want trials, they want judgment, they want to hear. But the government don't have the enabling law to do it. You need what the president needed right from the onset was a three, probably a three months, six months hearing of a case and a judgment. And you needed a law to be passed by the parliament. And unfortunately, you couldn't get that law. How do you give it to a president who failed to go and inaugurate the first parliament of his regime? Mm. He sent a proxy. You failed to ensure, even though there are three you know, arms of government, it shouldn't interfere. But you should be interested. Yes. Or who runs what? But, but let, it, let, let, let there be no doubt that I think in this, uh, the three of us here and, you know, representing a lot of people out there, total condemnation for corruption. There's no way we're su supporting or saying that uh, the list doesn't mean anything. But the, the, the problem is, it, it, maybe it was a bit messy. I think we lost the momentum. See, you see, know, see, I, I, let, I let, 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 let me quickly bring in uh, Mr. Adishino in Ojo. Good morning, sir. Are you there still? Adishino, Ojo. Or is it a jaw? He's not answering to any. Please continue. I thought we, we lost. This morning is 21. Please continue. The we, we lost the momentum. The now. That was just released and it's released in when, okay, okay. Okay. I want you to know that uh, though the list is coming out, it's coming out at a good time now. Though we are in electionary, we are in electionary year now. Yes. But at the same time. In 2015, the government came on board. Came on board. They promised to deal with all the looters. Yes. And I expected that by that 2015, that the list of these looters have been made known to these refugees. By now, I expected them to be in jail with the evidence they have at hand, with those that have returned money, and that is what will make the people to be happy. Yes. That they are going to tell example to others who are coming behind. That if you lose and we have a bad chief of a government, you are going to be arrested and you are going to be prosecuted. But now we are in another election here, and now you said you are releasing a list of looters. Now these looters are still not convicted by a court of law. 
So that's another issue by the side. So secondly, Uncle Yori, I will be able to block the root cause of further looting in this nation because the institution must be strengthened. I tell you, Uncle Yori, whether NPC or not the PDP, anyone coming in government, I will see have the same, the same backwardness we are having in the system that permit people to lose yeah. our national patrimony. Yeah. It's also called the digital cycles. Mm. I will not make X way. Mm -hmm. so the solution now is that's why the book of Job says, if I have seen that we still no more, let there be a stoppage how they can close the loopholes. Okay. So that the institution will be stretching, there will be no room for any further looting in this session. Yeah. God will continue to bless Nigeria, we continue to have more money, but until we put institution in place, yeah. we will stop people from looking for stealing. Then we will not make us way. Thank yes, you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for calling in. As they are plugging the loopholes, other people are unplugging these loopholes. Yes, exactly. We keep talking about this. And Madam Josephine, in her annoyance, said that there's no difference between <laughs> the two. It's the difference between six and half a dozen, which APC will not appreciate as they, a sentiment. Oh, oh, but obviously, that the is the general perception. Now, like I was saying, the government lost, we lost that momentum. I'm saying we because we the president general, I mean, President Buhari will not have won that election. But for the, you know, convincing perception that this man is incorruptible, yes. it's ranked very high. Yes. Now, but people keep talking about institutions at the expense of creating value, shared values that can drive these institutions. Thank you. Now, no government in this country, not even the Buhari government, put in place policies, laws, systems that are capable of plugging, you know, uh, leakages. IPPIs for payment of uh, public service servants was introduced by Jonathan. TSA introduced by Jonathan. But the, the people running the system have the political will to execute mm -hmm. those things. Mm -hmm. What to give to this current administration, and I believe, let me quickly say this, that they are not getting enough, as much credit as they deserve. Yes. There's no doubt about that. Yes. And it is because of this perception mm -hmm. issue mm -hmm. of actually providing direction and winning the heart of the people. I said something. People said, oh, look at the, the kidnap of these adaptive girls. Money must have changed hands. They wouldn't have brought them for free. I said, they could have brought them for free. But they negotiated something that was strategic. Let us bring those girls back by ourselves. And so they became heroes mm -hmm. at that moment. Boko Haram became mm -hmm. local heroes in Dabchi. So that is how to win the heart of, 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 of the people. So when people see that things are more of the same, there is a you know, likelihood for them to resign to faith and say, look, give us, give us back corruption. OK, since the Minister of Information said that uh, it's a strategic uh, move, uh, it was is the tip of the iceberg. I, I guess we at this stage have to pull back, you know, and just wait for him to give us the entire list. We've we've started. Uh, he has started. Uh, we'll see how all of this goes, and um, just leave it at Sir, that. But, but I think the list that will actually do the job is the list of those from whom monies are being recovered. recovered. Being recovered. And how much? That list is what the federal high court directed that the government should release. That is the list that will actually make sense and that will be apolitical. And then those that have not been recovered from, just keep quiet about those, those ones. ones. Yeah, yes. Until, until, until yes. you have a progress yes, to report. Yes, yes. You know what, this is a short program. We've got to leave it here, you know, so a bit surprisingly, but uh, that's, that's because we want to break into it to link up with uh, Governor Ambody of Lagos State, who is actually, you know, be busy, you know, showing some uh, civic projects. Um, so that's our program today. I want to thank you very much, um, Honorable Omishiri. Thank you also very much, Mr. Yemima Padio. Uh, we'll keep on this story and sure, you know, maybe shortly, we'll come and talk about it again. Okay, so uh, please join us tomorrow. We'll hopefully, no, I know, we will have a full program tomorrow, touch wood. Uh, my name is Yori Falani. Bye-bye for now.